okay so of course um when i purchased um the boca reef palette i was gifted this kind of peachy duochrome shade that is not included in the palette so let me just swatch it for you because i don't know if um the owner plans to sell the pans individually and if this this particular color will be on sale anytime soon but just you know for you guys to see and this swatches beautifully this has a very pretty peachy goldy duochrome shift to it it's really very pretty um i wore that underneath <coughs> a stealer glitter for a live i did in my group the beauty chat room group and i received a lot of compliments for my eye look um i did use glass bottom on the eyes and then i put stealer sunset cove on top just to give it a little power and in the outer corner i put argyle falls and in the inner corner i put benny bone you know and i just blended it out um so this palette um just looking at it is really pretty it stands out the holographic makes it stand out and surely you know this will be easily identified in the million and one palettes i do own um this palette typically retails for between 375 to i think as high as 400 tt dollars so this kind of puts this palette somewhere in the realm of a higher end indie brand palette like i would say um maybe dose of colors and stuff like that where those palettes would typically retail for about 50 us so you're looking at this palette being conversion rate about 50 us for this palette right and let me just talk about um packaging layout and stuff like that price versus the price point so you'll kind of like get a better idea you know some perspective on this palette now like i said this when you convert you know from tt to us would be about 50 us right now and i'm thinking of all my other palettes that are around that price range in terms of packaging and layout you will see certain things um now this comes as a, in a sturdy cardboard packaging which a lot of my other palettes do save and accept i think um the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes which come in a steady tin um, container but most times they do come in a steady um, cardboard packaging um, in terms of traveling I would advise though that you put this in your hand luggage and just toss in your, your 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 regular luggage because you really wouldn't want to take the risk of this you know buckling under the pressure of all that weight and abuse to have your shadows shattered and um they look soft enough that they can shatter just saying um when i open it of course it does not come with a mirror nor does it come with the names of the products or like ingredients on the back or where it is made you know what is manufactured things like that and um <clears throat> Um, I understand that in terms of the first release you tend to kind of overlook certain things like that you know not so much the mirror I could be wrong but maybe that was just it was just too much to um, include a mirror and of course if you did it probably would have made the palette even more expensive um, but in terms of the names the name of the palette would have been cool to put on it so you'd know hey Boko Reef it, you know not just CQC you know because I'm hoping that they come out with more palettes so you know it would make sense to like actually name name each one but again maybe it's price customs you know um, but it certainly would have been nice for them to 
like including names you know for me uh, my difficulty would be having to go online to get the names of the palettes um i keep saying palettes the names of the the colors the shadows you know um it's a bit i say time consuming to like you know go on a website you know even like screenshot the name somewhere which is what i did um let me just pull it up but i would insert a picture of the names this is it here all right that's the only way i could like guide myself in terms of what are the shades i'm using you know and for the purposes of this video <coughs> so anyhow so it would have been nice to have those things but again i i say this is a first release so you know you have your little growing pains and then your learning curve in terms of the packaging aspect which to be honest is a quick fix um I know with the second release she indicated that she will fix those things in terms of putting labels and stuff like that you know that yeah I guess she was um she probably felt the pressure of trying to meet that first demand to get this out that you know those things were kind of like overlooked you know and I'm not gonna knock her because it happens to the big more well established makeup brands out there you know so you know you just give it time and eventually they'll improve and they'll know you know not to make the same mistakes and you know I'm sure Bo, um, the creator is no different I'm sure based on the feedback she's getting from people she's gonna tweak and improve you know um, how the packaging of this product is laid out you know so that is that and for me that's a quick fix um, the thing that about this palette that I um, I need to express um, is one of genuine concern now because um, this is probably the third time I'm using this palette right and um, the second time I use this palette I had I don't want to say a severe allergic reaction but I had a worrying allergic reaction where I would have used certain shadows in this palette and upon like almost immediately after applying the shadows to my lids I got a skin irritation to the point where I broke out in hives <coughs> right I'll probably insert a clip somewhere in here where you see like all up by my crease bone here was inflamed and it was more or less inflamed for the greater part of half of a day you know um, basically what I did is I contacted the owner and creator to let them know you know um, this is what I experienced using these particular shades and you know um and let me just tell you the shades so at least you know for yourselves if it is you do have the palette already you know if you have already purchased this <coughs> it is bagel jazz german chocolate and fire coral now i used bagel jazz and german chocolate because i was looking to do a warm smoky look and those are the colors that initially attracted me and um, again like I said I had a serious allergic reaction to it and I have normal skin I don't have sensitive skin so of course for me it was a bit worrying because I'm like this never happened to me before you know this is not typical of my skin you know my skin is a little more tolerant of makeup application and stuff like that and in terms of using new products on my face so for that to happen to me worried me and which is why I messaged um, CQ, CQC I messaged Mo Martin who is the owner and creator to just let her know and um, when I checked the ingredients I noted that the same three colors that I just spoke about 
do contain a non-FDA approved ingredient which is not you know approved for eye use all right now it's it does say it's approved in the EU for use but let me just tell you that um again the standards in Europe are a little more relaxed than the standards in the States and again this is my personal experience I mean you could use these and have a totally you could be totally fine but I think I need I feel the need to disclose this because then there will be people on the other side of the spectrum who have sensitive skin and extremely sensitive skin using this might have an even worse reaction than I did you know and um, I just sort of need to like disclose that so that at least when you're using these products you can be mindful that there are ingredients in there that aren't necessarily approved for eye use and you need to be careful you know so like I mentioned you know I messaged her and I spoke to her about that um, the feedback and the customer service as it relates to that was phenomenal you know um, she indicated that they will certainly look to retweak the formula of those three shades right and to try and eliminate that non-FDA approved ingredient you know because she said at the end of the day you cannot play with people's health and I commend her for taking that route you know taking that positive route because so many times you see like cosmetic companies people you know message seeking assistance they complain about certain things and they get really horrible negative feedback you know and I must commend CQC for like you know addressing that issue and she did say that when the second batch comes the reformulated batch she will replace she will send replacement shades for me and the cool thing and I didn't mention this um, <clears throat> these shades the pants can oopsie the pants can pop out you know so you can put them in a zip palette but for those who already have it and there are concerns about using the shades with the non FDA approved one um, ingredients in it they can easily like pop them out of the palette so it wouldn't cross contaminate the other shades that you know um, they have no side effects they experience no side effects with right so so basically that is it I mean overall this is a really nice palette um, it's a very colorful palette um, I'm speaking as Jane public now um, I don't think this is a palette necessarily for the ordinary Jane public consumer you know because of the color selection it's pretty difficult to um, create an everyday work wearable look with this palette right um, for instance for me like in order to create the eye look you're seeing today I had to pull from my Kat Von D shade and light palette to get transition colors and to smoke it out because I couldn't smoke it out with the German chocolate because it broke me out terribly and I didn't want to take that chance again you know and have a really adverse reaction you know to the shadow palette that I think would complement a lot of makeup artists kits and I know a lot of makeup enthusiasts as well would really love these for that extra power pop of color um, I don't think this is necessarily a eyeshadow palette that Jane Public would want to use to go to work with you know unless she works probably like in the entertainment industry or something like that I really can't see who you know without at least the use of another palette to like tie in a look you know but this certainly does make a very good collector's item I mean just being able to support someone local on, some, on something that is so awesome is you know I'm just happy to be a part of this you know and um this certainly does make a good collector's item.
but just be mindful when you if you have it already or you're about to purchase it and it's the first batch the first batch that these the red based um, shades I guess because of the red pigmentation or dye or whatever it is you could run the risk of having an allergic reaction so I would say probably do a skin patch test somewhere on your arm just to check it out um, before you put it on your eye um, I should have done that but I mean I was just so excited to play with this palette I mean as soon as I got it I opened it and I was like oh my god I need to play with this that you know I took that for granted you know and honestly speaking you one should not take their health for granted so for any reason whatsoever we'll see it for a beauty item so I'm really glad that they are going to address that um, non FDA approved ingredient because it shows to me a certain semblance of not just customer service but corporate responsibility and I saw her mention somewhere on her Facebook page that corporate responsibility so it's good to see she's again stepping up to the plate as it relates to that and addressing the issue head on right but overall this is a part of that I mean I love it's very gorgeous you know um, I will what I will do is probably take out the three shades and probably dispose of them so that I wouldn't run the risk nor my kids because you know I have a little girl who loves to play with makeup and if she's anything like me I don't want her to like break out seriously you know because you know kids are a little more sensitive than that. kids skin is a little more sensitive than adult skin you know so I really don't want to take that chance you know but that being said um happy i got this palette um i wish nothing but the best for mo martin and her brand caribbean queen cosmetics i really i mean i want to see it blow up big like all the other indie brands that you see blow up big like dose of colors and color pop and juvia's palette I think this is no exception. I think she has the right attitude and drive towards, you know, producing and marketing the brand. So I wish her nothing but the best. If you found this video helpful in any way, in terms of the swatching, my personal experiences on it, please give me a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below and tell me, um, if you have the palette what are your views on it i would love to get the feedback and in terms of other video ideas you'd like to see i am going to do like i said um i am going to do a favorites video because i realized half 2017 is already gone i've never done a favorites video and i think i would like to recap like the first half of 2017 to tell you what it is I've been liking so far in terms of beauty products, skincare, makeup, and beauty tools. I could throw that in as well, you know? So thanks for taking time to watch this review, you know? If you haven't subscribed, please do, you know, um, check out my other videos. I do other reviews as well. I will link um, the review to her first highlighter palette in the description bar below. Thanks for watching. Bye!